people know this about me. Uh, I'm an archaeologist, well, an amateur one. Still working on my bachelor's, and uh, figured I'd show some basic stuff, as well as some simple stuff. That if your kids are into it, if they're digging around in your yard, like I used to do when I was a kid, digging up holes left and right. This is pretty uh, easy stuff to find. Uh, gives you kind of an example of some what you're in for. Uh, so this is a uh, this is two different kits. Uh, this is just a simple one from Dollar Tree. So this is a dollar. It's just a block of sand. And then this is a uh, like a little little sphinx, a little Egyptian sarc sarcophagus. Just one dollar more at a Dollar General. And I'm sure you can find them at other stores in the toy aisle. Uh, most of them come with, oddly enough, the basic tools that you'll find anyway. Uh, for actual archaeology. If you have to work with a, like a group or a corporation or anything like that. Uh, a little mini hammer, chisel, and a brush. Now these are really thin, but you use a variety of brushes. Uh, from what I've seen. <clears throat> Don't worry about that. It's not important. So, uh, yeah, we'll just open these bad boys up. Uh, there's a prize inside, so your kids will get rewarded for doing the archaeology stuff. Uh, I'll explain a little bit more uh, your actual reward and stuff if you go out in the field and everything, unless you work for yourself. Uh, get grants and stuff from the government so without further ado let's pop these open it should be fairly easy uh oh don't tell me there's actual instructions this will be funny so I'm about to ignore those And there are actual <laughs> instructions. Oh, I can't wait for that one. All right. So this one, the Dollar Tree one, is just a normal little block. It's actually... It's, okay. Uh, it looks like a little chill. And that is a very tiny paintbrush. So I guess the first part of the dig is to get the plastic out. This is so weird. <sighs> this could also be a fun time if your family's still, you know, locked up or anything. You can get a couple of these and play who can get to the gym first or, you know, whatever the prize is inside the hidden lost treasure of Toot. So we got that one. Uh, oh, this one even has a barcode. That's weird. Please scan me and find out how to be an archaeologist today. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, now I'm singing his theme song, so I guess this is a good time. Uh, the thing that got me interested in archaeology is that son of a gun, Mr. Harrison Ford, playing Indiana Jones. Did not see that coming. So in this kit, we got a hammer, got an actual chisel. Uh, looks kind of like the same as that one, except it's a little smaller. And woo, same kind of brush. And it looks like this does not come with written instructions, but the thing is still inside of plastique. There. Well, I guess I found out an easy way to use the chisel. Oh, oh my. Alright. Oh, this actually feels like the sandcastle stuff that I used to build all the time. Oh, hey, look. Stuff that would actually happen during an actual dig. Things just fall apart. You get lucky sometimes. Alright. So 
So let's see here. This is this is like sweet tart candy, almost, but softer. Very strange. All right, let me come over here and pop these instructions up a little bit closer. Uh, let me see if you can possibly read these. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna read them out loud for you. Not that I'm gonna really adhere to these. All right, content. This is for the Dollar Tree one. Ages, six and up suggested. Uh, same thing for the Dollar Journal one. Oh, and just like a regular dig, you might want to wear gloves because uh, this is already pretty sandy. Uh, da -da -da -da. One hammer, one safety goggles, which is not provided, or other eye protection. I don't need safety. <laughs> Place a stone on a clean sheet of paper. Yeah, Ouija board's good enough. Place the point of your chisel on the stone. Strike the back with your mallet. Keep digging until you see the treasure in the stone. After you've found the treasure, brush off the residue. Then place the treasure in a cup of water and wash it carefully to remove any remaining sand. After washing the treasure, dry clean and then display it. All right, that sounds really, really good. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you or teach you, rather, what will happen in the field. So first, a site is found. Pretty simple. And then a team goes out, whether it's government or private, you know, whoever an archaeologist comes out and figures out what they found, try to like, get the, the specialized archaeologist to come out and start looking at everything. And uh, these chisels and that hammer does not really come into play all that much. Because you're, you're going to disturb the ground, but they don't want you to disturb it too much to preserve the site. Which, you're destroying it anyway, so I don't see the point. But, <clears throat> this is what you do for a long time. 11, 11 months, months later. later. Now, you may get a shovel, not necessarily an axe. And you just start digging very carefully and you'll do this for weeks you will get really tired of shovels and brushes and everything because you will have to do that as carefully as you can for however long it takes or however long you're hired. Who knows? And then the person in charge of you is usually somebody big shot-ish in the archaeological world. Uh, with, no, that's not even the right pickaxe. Whoopsies! <clears throat> and then you'll get aggravated because they'll be yelling at you, hurry up, do what you want. <laughs> or not do what you want, sorry. That's not the rules. And again... You dig, you dig, you try to find stuff, anything to make it worthwhile. Because as a as a new archaeologist, obviously you want to make your staple on this on the community, the history community, everything. And you're just digging and digging and digging, and finally you get really aggravated. Let's say <laughs> with that person with a PhD who's not really lifting a whole lot of fingers, manual labor wise. Let's just say that. Um, Indiana Jones was a, was especially, I would consider him a, uh, a real expert in his field, as well as, uh, more of a hands-on kind of guy. That's rare. <laughs> so when that big PhD person's not looking, you take out, uh, some, some hammer time. Just start going really hard when they're not paying attention because you want to find whatever it is you're supposed to be finding. Hey, let's just add a chisel. Boom. Okay, not yet. Where'd they hide this sucker? I'm just gonna... Oh, yeah. Oh, I might actually be hitting it. Well... gonna go rock painting on this thing. Nope. Okay. Ugh. Oh, 
also expect to do a lot of this uh, by hand the hard way if we're out on an actual job. Because this ain't allowed. This will damage things. <sighs> but if you're out doing your own thing by yourself, you can do pretty much whatever you want. Just don't get caught by local authorities unless you have permission to be doing this. Where in the world was it really where it was? Uh, wish freaking X would have marked the spot for me. Are you kidding me? Where is this thing? I don't like you. Why are you like this? They are really making this tricky. Okay. Mother of God. Where are you? Ironically, this is what you'll also be screaming at yourself. Trying to figure out oh, where treasure is and all that good stuff. Oh, hey, I found it. So we can see in here, it's starting to show up. So let's flip that this way. And then get the hammer. Yeah. Alright. Flip it. Alright. Good grief. That was painful. Oops. Uh, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Alright, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no. This isn't a jewel. I know what this is. It's running away. This is fossilized amber. And some rich crazy fool is going to make some dinosaurs here in a little bit. Alright. So I already broke that piece off. But we got a little, little guy with no nose. Really simple. Let's just uh, slide that. <laughs> We're going to make this a little easier. Well, hello. You know what? I like to smash. What the? Oh, really? Huh. Who would have... Oh, pfft. Three more here? Good grief. Okay, so I'm gonna... <laughs> There we go. T -t -t I'm gonna save that as a magic prop. That's gonna be funny. Oh, poor little Tutty. Rest in peace. So, uh, my suggestion. <laughs> Let me hold this side by side. Uh, Dollar Tree. Dollar General. One dollar. Two dollar. Um, I'm gonna say that one. Now, a little closing fact. You've done all the hard work. You've lifted all the struggles. You've, you've, <laughs> you've tired yourself for weeks, days. You do all that work. You finally found something of notoriety. And in a few short minutes, it'll all be taken away because you weren't the head PhD guy on the job. All credit will go to some balding, overweight, middle-aged person. It's not like I'm salty or anything. It's not like it happened to me, or it happens all the time. <sighs> Darn bald Jack Johnson. Okay, I digress anyway. Here, uh, yeah, $2. Go ahead and get the two dollar general, dollar general one. Don't even worry about the the one dollar one. That's not important at all. Freaking Johnson! Oh, I hate that guy. <laughs>